Jerry Blevins curveball usage took a significant leap forward in 2017. It's presented by Geico. He threw his curveball 50% of the time a season ago. That's up 19% from the year before. And Steve Gelbs recently sat down with Jerry, asked him about his curveball, especially now with a manager whose pitchers threw a lot of curveballs in Cleveland. Yeah, I mean, definitely, you're always trying to get better. And you're picking, you know, well, me personally, I like to pick guys' brains all the time. Um, whether it's somebody that's been around forever, or Mickey Callaway is now our manager, I'll definitely talk to him. But even, you know, talking to Seth Lugo about his curveball or, um, you know, Paul Sewald about his slider, you're constantly tweaking. You, you always, I always use the adage, like, you're either getting better or you're getting worse. There's no staying the same. So I'm constantly trying to, to make myself better. Um, as far as usage goes, I think it's more of a feel thing. Um, it was definitely intentional that I used my curveball more last year. Um, but, you know, we just go, if it's successful, I'll, I'll stick with it. And if it's not, I'll make an adjustment. We just go from there. You mentioned Mickey Calloway. And this is a guy, first-time manager, but from our limited interaction with him, seems very energetic, very about the players. What has your limited, I guess, interaction been with him since he took the job? Yeah, we've spoken on the phone a couple of times. And just like you said, he's, he's a natural leader. Um, even his voice over the phone kind of commands respect. Um, he's very intelligent, you know. Uh, I'm just excited. I've never had a, a former pitcher be my manager before. Um, so I'm excited to have somebody there that's kind of been in my shoes because it's so rare for a pitcher to be a manager. And it's, it'll be a, a unique experience for me personally. Uh, you know, I'm 34. I'll be 35 at the end of next he's year. He's not that much older. So, than yeah, you. he's not that much older than me. And, and have a guy that's been in, his, been in my shoes not so long ago to kind of understand what I do. That'll be great. When you have a new manager come in like this, do you, obviously you talk to him, but do you talk to people that you know around the league and try and get a feel for what they know about him, people that perhaps have played for him before? Definitely. Um, I reached out to some of my former teammates and friends in the league that have been around him, and I've gotten nothing but positive feedback. Um, even, you know, Jay Bruce that went over there late in the season, talked to him about it, and he's like, You're, you know, the Mets are, are – have done a, a good thing and they, he said he really enjoyed his time with him. The past couple of postseasons specifically, we've seen the bullpens evolve to a place that they've never really been before with, with just the level of importance and how early in games they're being used. And there seems to be this movement by some towards bullpenning, using that in the regular season. Do you have any thoughts on bullpenning as a concept and just what the success or, or lack of success would be if a team tried to in institute that over the course of a year? Yeah, I mean, for me personally, I enjoy seeing a bullpen be understood for how good those, those people are. You know, when baseball purists talk about the starting pitcher going complete games, the game has evolved a, a lot. There's a lot more talent um, recognized in the bullpen. There's guys that have done that their whole career. They're not just, you know, failed starters anymore. Uh, there's guys that throw 100 and they can't do it for seven innings, but they can do it for one. And so to see, you know, the usage like that, I, I appreciate it. And I notice it's like that third time through the lineup for starters is a lot, you know, guys have a lot less success. And so the difference, you know, it's just a numbers game. Um, I still love to watch, you know, Jake DeGrom and Noah Syndergaard go complete game because those guys are special. But at the same time, you know, you understand that there's some really talent. There's some really high quality talent in the bullpen that, that needs to be used in high leverage situations.